Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be installing T4D Control Server. Before we install T4D, we need to make sure that we're installing on a supported operating system and that SQL has already been installed. To find a list of supported operating systems, you can open the installation files and then find the release notes PDF. Open the PDF and scroll down until you see the supported operating system section. Now that we've verified we're working on a supported operating system, we can go ahead and install T4D Control Server. Open the installation files and find the application setup. Double click on setup and give the application permissions to make changes on this machine. When setup opens, select install Trimble 4D Control Server and allow the application to run. This will open the T4D Control Server setup wizard. Click Next to proceed. Accept the license terms and go to the next step. Enter the SQL Server host and admin login information. SQL is running in this machine, so the host will be localhost slash SQL Express. The admin account and password were created as part of the SQL installation. More information can be found in our installing SQL tutorial. Test the connection to the database to make sure that T4D and SQL can communicate. Here we can change the way T4D control features are installed. For this installation, we will leave these as the default settings. Click Install to install T4D Control Server. Hit Finish to complete the installation of T4D Control Server. T4D will then install the associated tools and components, such as the Coordinate System Manager and the Sentinel Drivers for hardware licenses. Click Run when prompted to install the packages. Once everything is complete, we can open the T4D Control Server user interface. To open the UI, log in with the admin account and hit connect. The default password is no password. Be sure to check out our other videos for more information.